Okay, so this is my Pine 6.4 uh, update for uh, the Remix OS. So I had a couple of people uh, ask me uh, to make another video on you know basic um, browsing and, and word processing and, and such. Um, <clears throat> so there was an update done. Uh, I don't remember when it was done because I actually hadn't powdered on in a couple of days. Uh, but uh, it definitely seems to be moving a lot smoother. Uh, right now it's idling about uh, 44, 43. Well, it's moving up and down uh, Celsius here. Um, so I did put on this little heat sink. I haven't uh, fully attached it yet, so it's not actually uh, glued onto it. Uh, it's right now it's just sitting on there. I did have a desk pan on there at one point, and uh, it went down to 39 Celsius, which is pretty low uh, under uh, just, you know, average use. Uh, but it is moving around, um, going up and down. But uh, again, here's Plex. So I'm just going to kind of throw something on. See where it goes. Oh, it spiked up to 54. Believe it or not, this is actually a lot faster than it was running before. <laughs> See how long it takes to skip to the next one. So that process is slow as shit. I know my server is quick, so uh, that's a problem. It's still pretty high and low average. It's a lost connection to the media server, so maybe it could be. Or it could be my network. Anyways, so it's using 37% here of memory. Oh, still isn't that bad. Blank document. Huh, there's no one there. Must have been some kids knocking. Down here, boys. Oh, for God's sake, Joe. Can't you put a tall flag on the back of your chair or something? I apologize for the difficulty my paralysis causes you. Hey, Peter, good news. Bonnie is out of town, so I have an extra ticket for Tuesday night. I do plan on uh, figuring a way to overclock it. I do need to get root for it. Um, haven't exactly gotten to figure out how to root this device yet, but I will. Uh, or I will wait till somebody else does it and then give some information about it. But uh, here's a basic resume template. It's a little slow. Uh, it's not as fast as like a Chromebook for word processing. Again, this is still beta. Um, it definitely is moving faster since the update, so that's that's really good. It's not that slow. Once it kind of starts moving around, uh, it gets a little better. And the program kind of has to be up for a little while. But there's like a slight delay. Yeah, if I had two hands, I could type, but I don't because I have to hold the camera, unfortunately. On my list of things to get, at least a tripod for this. Or a better camera. But, um, 
not terrible, not incredibly fast. Um, you know, again, this this is still pretty early, so I really can't tell, um, you know, if that's going to be permanent. But as you can see, that spiked pretty high. That's up to, it was almost 67 Celsius when I looked. Uh, and this is even with a heatsink sitting on top of the CPU. Um, now, my next venture for this board, um, I actually have an extra really small uh, aquarium uh, that I'm going to attach this to the inner wall where it's plastic and drill it in. Uh, I, I think I'm going to submerge this in mineral oil. Uh, a lot of times people do that with uh, other PCs when they want to do overclocking projects. I think that's what I'm going to do with this. Um, I think the heat is really what's slowing it down. Uh, this processor should be running a lot faster than that, even though this may not be a 64-bit uh, release of uh, of the Remix OS. Uh, hopefully that will be a thing. Uh, but until then, uh, I guess I'll just find other solutions. Uh, one of them definitely being submerging this in mineral oil. And I think that'll work. But uh, movies are really smooth on it. Um, you know, no real complaints there. Um, and I'm just going to show you, I guess, Moonlight one more time to see how it works. Okay, so apparently I have to pair it again because I re-imaged this. So that's not going to work. I will have more updates, um, you know, as, as I progress with playing around with this thing. Um, you know, one last thing. Uh, I'm going to actually do Chrome. Sorry if I seem tired in this video. Uh, I do work overnight, so this is kind of my morning. Uh, it's about uh, almost 8 o'clock at night, so i got to be in work in two hours for my overnight shift. Alright, so here's it in windowed mode. For images, this is springing up normal web browsing. Seems to be a very slight lag, but it's not incredibly noticeable. Uh, it seems to happen here and there, not not every single time I press something, but it does happen. Again, this is multitasking with a show being watched on Plex, and this is being streamed. So we're able to get to the Pine64 website, no problem. Uh, the About Us. Now you can see up to 70 Celsius. So this thing's pretty warm. I really again think that the uh, the temperature problem is what's slowing this down. I think this could be a lot faster. So I'm going to look into other cooling solutions uh, and maybe hopefully next week I'll be able to submerge this thing in mineral oil uh, and give you an idea of what it would be like running completely submerged. But uh, I, I, I do plan on making um, a Pine 6.4 or at least Remix OS being my normal uh, workstation machine. Uh, whether it's going to be on a 64-bit uh, motherboard with a normal, um, normal processor, not, not an, uh, an ARM processor. But uh, I was really hoping that the Pine 6.4 would be a lot faster out of the box. But again, it is you know just a project board. So... Um, just needs a lot of tweaking, you know. Uh, there's a lot of potential on it. There's a lot of things we could probably do, but until the software is really there, 
uh, uh, I did hear uh, some rumors about Fedora coming, or somebody coming out with the Fedora version that is uh, a complete 64-bit port. Um, this is a community-based thing. Uh, I'm going to put some more information in uh, the video once I confirm it. I have a friend who is a developer, not for uh, this project, but he's a Fedora developer, so he does have some information on things like that. So um, once I gather some information on that, uh, I will put in uh, if there is going to be an ISO available for the 64-bit uh, Fedora uh, port. Uh, I will give that uh, information as well, just to have everybody give that a try if they'd like. Uh, I personally like Android. Uh, I always have. Uh, I kind of want to continue using Android. Uh, it, it's so versatile. It's It's got everything in just a small application. If we get past the speed issue, that's, I mean, at, at, at this point, you know, it's really the speed. It just needs to be a little faster, and, you know, that it'll be fine. Uh, but I think, again, because of temperature-related issues, that's what we're looking at. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and solve that problem and uh, see if we can't get this thing to move a lot faster. And if we get root, then I'm going to overclock it and see how fast we can get this thing to go. Uh, but if you have any questions, anything you want to add, any, anything that you want me to show in my next video, uh, just please go ahead and, uh, and comment below. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I have a lot of other tech projects that I'll be working on soon. Um, I'm going to be working on an Unraid uh, uh, game stream server, so uh, no official gaming rig. I'm going to have multiple virtual machines running on one box, and one of them being game streaming, and one of them being a snapshot backup solution, uh, and the other one would be uh, a future um, video monitoring service for my home. So again, have any questions, uh, if there's anything you'd like me to, to work on, any tech projects you want me to try. Uh, again, just comment below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.